hello guys today we will uh, i will show you how to make a qr image with a logo in the center then you will email it to the user so for as for the api i used the clean architecture which i discussed in my previous uh, tutorials so i will put the link in the description if you haven't uh, watch it yet so for the packages uh, this uh, function is from my uh, actual project which is I'm making a uh, contact tracing app so I just so for the packages I just remove uh, the packages for the database connection and just leave the basic uh, uh, the packages which we are we need in this tutorial so basic up for uh, authentication of our routes so canvas and qr code is for the generating of the qr and canvas is for the logo we'll put the logo in the center so course for the across for it to allow us to across uh, to access cross origin uh, that nv file to access this file here then express for our server the node mailer a uh, package for us to enable to email so for the functions i have uh, i have the functions here so basically we will be uh, for, uh, for us to send email uh, this function will in allow us to send email so to configure your G uh, I use Gmail for for my uh, my dummy Gmail for uh, for the um, email server so all you have to con uh, to configure in your Gmail is this part here just turn it on so to navigate in this part just click here then manage your google account then go to security and then here less secure apps just click this and then turn this on that's all you have to configure in your gmail account let's close it Uh, all the code that I've written here is from the uh, official doc, so it's just here. I uh, just add the TLS here for uh, SSL uh, conflicts for us to allow uh, to enable us to email. So that's this send email function so for the generate qr even i don't know how it works i just research it in stack overflow but somehow it works so i put a comment here so that's for you guys to to discover so encrypt function and encrypt and this function will make uh, just make folder for our QR image so that's for the function so when I run npm uh, start I have two scripts here script for start and dev I use node moon for dev so just npm start so it create the image folder because of this function and it is called in our main app, our main file here. So for our main file, it's just the same with my clean architecture <coughs> uh, tutorial. So nothing new here. So when I will try to post uh, to add new user, 
So I I still have the entity here, and in the use case, I I comment a lot of lines here because it's not needed. So let me just remove this. Here is from our uh, entity. So just validate the data from the client. Then turn into object. Because this object will, will be using if there is a database to insert in our database. So it's just uh, after inserting you must return the ID if you have a database. So this is just a dummy ID. Then turn into an object. Then it will be passed. To the function of generate QR, which is here, and then JSON stringify it, the object, then the ID, object that ID, which is here, then stringify the object. Uh, this ID here will be the name of the QR, which will be generated here. So we will JSON stringify the whole object and then. Uh, what's this center image so uh, I uh, this will be our center image r2 I just research it in the Google so, so after that if the gender is male or female so for the greetings then this will be our mail and the content of our email so the project I'm working is just a name of CCTMS, so it's just a dummy name. Uh, I, I mean the the name of my project. So the process and we email user is for what your email is, and then uh, you will put your Gmail or any email here, then the password. I didn't put mine because I don't know how to blur in the video, so I will put it later. So, just the, I mean the from, and then that two is for the email of the person you're going to insert, then the subject, and for the greetings, you can put, I mean for the body part or the HTML, you can put the HTML tags here. So for the greetings here, good day sir or mom, then attachments. QR.ID which is here, QR then ID, the name uh, of the file which will be generated by this function, generate QR, and then content, uh, create the, create read stream function of the FS uh, module, it's a built-in module from node. So path resolve meaning the root directory then images then the name of the PNG then this function the send email which I discussed earlier uh, here will send the email to the user so just console log if you deploy it in Docker you can check it there if it is send sending properly or not. Because it will return here if there's an error, it will return status 400 not sent, then the error, then 200 if it is sent successfully. So let's try. Here is the endpoint or of the of our API. We'll be adding a new person here. So I'll be using my my main email. Before I will show you, I uh, will show to you the dummy email part. So when I click send, oops, I will post uh, po post the video first. I will put my credentials here. So we'll back later. So I have put 
my email credentials here in the ND file. So let's try. Perhaps I will st stop first, then start again because I made changes in the ENB. And let's try to insert, I mean, add person. The user has been added successfully. I mean, if there's a database, so it's always successful. Dummy. Let's check in my email. So here, it email just me. A good uh, zero minutes ago. Good day, sir. Blah, blah, blah. So here's the QR. I will be pushing it to uh, in the GitHub so you can test it. Uh, reading the QR in your Android phones. So I will now show to you how to uh, when you're developing uh, a dummy uh, email. Uh, dummy email so just use that get nada uh, email and you can put any here the joe body so let's try just go to get nada.com then add inbox so currently there are no emails here so let's try to add i mean make request so user successful it must be successful there successful sent and here's the email. So 18.png is the attachment. So let's try to download it. So that's the QR and the logo in, in the center. So that's all guys. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.